Hello folks, uh, welcome to the AI University and in this video I am going to cover the difference between regular neurons and recurrent neurons of which uh, recurrent neural networks are made up of. I am also going to explain the concept of unrolling a RNN cell through time. Folks, this is Nitin uh, welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all of your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. And you can acquire these related skill set in order to advance your career in these fields. And this channel uh, takes hands-on approach to build AI based products and applications so if you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you are not already a subscriber then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century. So folks the way these recurrent neurons are different from regular neurons is that the recurrent neurons contains state or memory. So recurrent neurons are basic building blocks of RNN and I introduced simple feed forward network in the previous videos where the feed forward networks structure contained a single neuron that is an input X which we feed into neurons and an output Y okay and we use uh, we used this kind of neural network for building regression models right so now coming back to recurrent neuron these recurrent neuron is always aware of time steps or instances okay so at any time step t that features or x variables which are nothing but uh, you know the independent variables uh, that are fed into this uh, neuron are represented by x sub t and corresponding output is y sub t Okay, so the recurrent neuron takes the output of previous time stamps, uh, previous time step that is y sub t minus 1 and feeds it as an input to the recurrent neuron. So, in a nutshell, y of t minus 1 is the input to the cur uh, current recurrent neuron. I repeat. Uh, y of t minus 1 is the input to the current recurrent neuron at a time step t along with x of t which is nothing but input features or input variables uh, x of t okay or x t okay so this simple tweak is what makes this simple uh, feed forward network a recurrent neuron which uh, you know making it uh, able to learn from the past so let's revisit uh, y of t is output at a given time t and the value of this y of t depends on y of t minus 1 which is output of previous time step that is y t minus 1 as well as it depends upon x of t which um, you know are new inputs or features uh, and which are available at time t okay and uh, they were not available earlier okay so they are only available available uh, at the current time step t okay and i'm talking about the xt so xt feature uh, xt which represent the input features are available uh, in the current time step t those were not available earlier okay so these recurrent neurons laid out over time thereby building a recurrent neural network so essentially we can substitute uh, different values of t for example let's say t runs from 0 to 15 so we can lay out the resulting ne uh, neural network on a time axis since we have 15 time steps okay and we can when i'm saying 15 time step we can either uh, you know imagine them as 15 seconds okay or 15 milliseconds okay so since we have 15 time steps within our data set our recurrent neural uh, neural network will have 15 layers keep in mind okay so this process of laying out a recurrent neuron on a time axis is called unrolling through time 
and which is a way through which we create layers in recurrent neural network so here i have uh, a single recurrent neuron a recurrent neuron unrolled through time and the output is denoted by x of 0 or x0 at time step uh, t equals to 0 and output at that time step is y of 0 or y0 now if i use the same neuron at a time step t equals to 1 the input will be x1 and output will be y1 similarly for time step t equals to 2 the input of uh, the same neuron will be x2 and output will be y2 so this is the same neuron or same recurrent neuron uh, represented at different time step and which is why the output of the neuron y0 is fed back as an input to the neuron at time step t equals to 1 and the output of neuron y1 is fed back as an input to the neuron at time step equals to 2 and so on okay now let me cover few of the characteristics of recurrent neuron and I will be doing comparison with respect to regular neuron but before I move forward let me tell you a fun fact for today by 2020 there will be more than 50 billion uh, smart connected devices in the world collecting analyzing and sharing the data isn't that amaz amazing yes it is so let's move on uh, two characteristics of recurrent neuron so number one is in a recurrent neuron the input to the neuron is feature vector x1 through xn okay and the output is a scalar so remember the feature vector which is input is vector and the output is a scalar which takes um, you know output is a scalar and take an example of linear regression equation we used earlier which is uh, y equals to wx plus v where y was a scalar value and we were uh, getting uh, you know the output uh, based on the input feature x okay so on the other hand in the recurrent neuron the input feature is vector which is same as regular neuron right so input is again same as regular neuron uh, and the input is feature vector but the output of the recurrent neuron is a vector so from representation point of view the input is uh, x0 x1 x2 through xt okay so this is a vector vector and the output is y0 y1 y2 till yt this is also a vector and here 0 1 2 and t represents time steps so recurrent neurons remembers um, um, the past as they possess the memory okay so this is one important uh, thing to remember and feeding back uh, the output into neuron uh, input allows the recurrent neuron to learn from the past now this recurrent neuron can be made more smart by introducing few more concepts which I'm going to cover later on the internal state within the recurrent neuron is represented by HT or H sub T okay so keep this thing also in mind that internal state is represented uh, in the recurrent neuron as HT. Moving on, each neuron of a recurrent neural network has two weights, okay, or weight vectors, which are WX and WY. And WX is the uh, weight vector which corresponds to inputs that are present at that instance in time okay and y w, uh, w y sorry w y is the weight vector which corresponds to the output at the previous uh, you know um, instance in time which in a way fed back to the input of the recurrent neuron and w x is used to uh, you know weigh the current input x t and w y is used to weigh the output of previous time stamp which is y t minus 1 so the formula which represents uh, the output of a recurrent neuron is this one okay this one so this is the formula of recurrent neuron output of recurrent neuron 
and here uh, so you can see that uh, the it is uh, phi the symbol is phi and this phi is nothing but the activation function okay and xt is the input at the time step t and wx is the weight here then we are adding it up with y of t minus 1 which is nothing but output of previous time step and wy is the weight associated with it and b is nothing but a biased value okay or a bias okay so folks this is it for this video to conclude i explained the difference between a regular neuron and recurrent neuron as well as how can we unroll the recurrent neuron in time okay so folks let me ask you a question from this video in what form a recurrent neuron takes input and in which form it spits out uh, uh, the output and I'm, when I'm saying form I'm talking about the uh, values like scalars, vectors, tensors etc. Okay. So please post your comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. Okay. And you can also ask your technical questions in the comment section. I will be glad to answer your questions. Okay. So feel free, feel free to ask your questions. And if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.